it's Jill. Welcome back to another weekly vlog, y'all. <sighs> First of all, I was doing the day in the life vlogs and I thought I was going to like them better and I just didn't. So we're going back to weekly vlogs. Also, it is Monday, May 8th. Yesterday, which was Sunday, I did not upload a vlog because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about these last two weeks. They have been so difficult for me in many, many, many ways. Um, just like feeling depression coming back over me, massive, 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 massive amounts of fatigue, lack of motivation. Um, it was intense, y'all. It was really, really, really freaking intense. So I just could not be on camera. Like every time I would go to pick up the camera to vlog, I just, I just wasn't, I just wasn't there. And I really just don't like filming. Like I can fake the funk when it comes to like fake it till you make it, you know, kind of thing when it comes to doing a try on, because usually when I'm doing a try on, because I love doing it so much, the energy just kind of like takes over me eventually. But even if it doesn't, I still, you know, it's not the same as like sharing my life because basically I film that video and then I go back to like either editing or just being on the couch in my little funk. Whew, it was hard. I was also doing 75 soft and then I just on Friday, I was just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So I stopped. It was it was too much. It was too much for me. So with that being said, I literally did nothing. And I mean nothing for the past three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean Friday, me and the kids did go up to the office and we did like a Cinco de Mayo thing, and that was really fun. But other than that, I haven't done anything. Like I have not worked out. You know, y'all know like Saturday is like usually the day that I do my chores. I also usually do grocery shopping and stuff like that. It wasn't happening this week. It just wasn't happening. So, um, yeah, I just literally did nothing. And today the kids are off. So we're going to do the things. If you guys can hear the laundry's going, why does it look so cakey? Like I did not put on a lot of foundation, but my foundation looks very cakey. Also, my brows are completely, like, the lamination is 100% completely gone. And I kind of want to get them laminated again. Unfortunately, the tint is not gone. And I'm wondering what I'm going to have to do because my brows are a funky color. That woman, hmm. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm just getting ready to go to the grocery store get some groceries i have been in like a really big funk too with my eating and just wanting to eat healthier but also kind of wanting to hold on to those old habits of like having the chips around and having chips every day which Honestly, I can do, but I also have found myself, especially with like emotionally, like emotional things that have been happening lately, I just noticed myself it being harder and harder for me to stay away from the chips. And I just don't want to, basically, I don't want to add to any temptation because things have been really emotional lately. Uh, I really didn't, sh I shared a little bit on TikTok. If y'all don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok because I upload every single day. Um, and it's mainly my weight loss journey, but I also do a couple of other things over there too. But I talked about Bella, how I had to take her to the vet last Monday. And, uh, it's her spine and she's not doing that good. And she hasn't improved like at all. And it's been a full entire week. She's on muscle relaxants. It's her spine. They say if she doesn't get better within two to four weeks, she's going to have to have surgery because then that means it's a ruptured disc and there's no fixing that other than going in and having surgery. Which y'all already know, it's very costly. So I don't know how I'm going to make that happen. 
if that's the case. But um, she doesn't seem to be in pain, especially she's on mus muscle relaxer. She's on, I think, two different pain medications. So seems to be like the pain is being managed, but she just, she's not improving and it sucks. Her back paws literally just drag. It's like she has no function over them at all. And it's really scary to see. Um, she went to sleep that Saturday or that Sunday evening fine. And she wakes up Monday morning all hunched over and... <sighs> Anyways, um, it kind of put in perspective, like, the fact that she's getting older, and I don't even want to say what that means, but you guys can know, know where I'm going with that. But, um, y'all need to start dyeing my hair. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to, because I see more and more grays. But, anyways, there is no way I was vlogging last week. Absolutely not, because I was a freaking wreck. I did nothing but cry pretty much all last week. I don't even think I put on makeup. Maybe I did once, but it just wasn't a good week. So there was no, there was going to be no vlogging from me last week for sure. But if y'all pray, just keep Bella in your prayers because, um, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been, but I have so much to share with you guys in this week's vlog. So I'm gonna put you down over this way. That has a little more light. Even though I put my light right there, we're gonna go ahead and get ready um, to go. My battery's dying. I will see you guys when we get back. Guess what, y'all? She was staring at me all morning like that. And then he she drove, the not her. She's gonna fight me. He drove. Oh, I didn't drive. <laughs> he hasn't driven since November. But he did amazing. I want to say that you actually did better than you because you always speed down that road. <laughs> you did better this go round than you have the whole time. But he was afraid and I was told him like once you start driving, it's like riding a bike. Like it's like nothing. But yeah. he did amazing. I'm so proud of him. Thinking, um, He's going to be driving by himself really soon and that kind of scares me. But thinking, we're ready. I was thinking about how because like I started to sprinkle so I had to turn oh. on the wipers. And then I, know I, was, why I can't get this. Then I was thinking like like I have to get better with multitask kind of stuff and like just knowing where things are because I had to like look to turn it on and then like I'm normally in the habit of looking both ways when going down green lights because people will run red lights and then you know you can get into an accident like that. So um I did not pay attention to that to like turn on the wiper and then I was thinking I have to get better with multitasking because Eventually, I'll know where it is. Why are you putting it so close to my face? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> like, I'll, I just need to know where everything is so I don't have to, like, look, like, oh, where's this to turn this on or whatever. So, yeah. So. He did really good, though. I'm very proud of him. So, here we are. Getting our grocery shopping done at Walmart. This is just so cute. It's just so cute. All right, we'll see y'all in a few. Okay, so we are back and um, I'm sweating, excuse the sweat. It's gonna be like this. Um, anyways, we got lots of fresh fruits and veggies. Like I love seeing this and I have just been in a rut with what I've been eating and I've just been wanting and like craving and we all have honestly more fresh fruits and veggies. So I'm gonna put on the screen what we're gonna have for dinner all this week. I'm going to show you guys. I'm so ex I'm so excited to make this pasta. Is that no, 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 I want that for the for the chicken. That's why I left it up there cuz I'm going to keep it in the fridge. Um, let's see. What was I saying? Okay, y'all know the viral grinder sub. I've made it before here on this channel. Well, I figured that I would do that. Only this time, instead of doing it on a wrap and doing it that way, I was going to make it into a pasta salad. So, once we're done with this grocery haul, we're gonna do that. Then me and Ava, and if Kentrell wants to join too, we're gonna like do all the fruit, put it up, veggies, prep it, clean everything, wash it, put it in our mason jars. By the way, I 100% recommend and love the mason jars so much more. Bella. <laughs> Poor Bella. Stop. I know you wanna go out. You can't, baby. This has been like the hardest thing for us. Well, to see her the way that she is and then also like 
she just doesn't, it, it seems like she doesn't understand what's going on. So anyways, um, tonight I'm making like a super, super simple crock pot chili kind of recipe. So I'm going to show y'all that too, but let's go ahead and get and do this grocery haul. Okay, so we went to both Walmart and Target. We didn't get too much from Target. Most of this came from Walmart. So eggs, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, grapes, bread for the kids, apples, mangoes, bananas, ice pops, chicken, meatballs. Love that from Target, so good. And then I remembered I needed sauce, so I got a thing of sauce from Target. Um, carrots. Spring and spinach mix. These I'm gonna have as snacks along with some fruit, but I'm gonna put, slice them in half, put them in mason jars, and then for my snack or when snack time comes around, I'm just gonna put like whatever a serving of whipped cream cheese in there and put some everything but the bagel seasoning. I think that's gonna be so freaking good. Um, these big old babies of chicken broth because we're having chicken noodle soup. I think I also need it for this chili that I'm gonna make tonight. Um, so, big daddies. <laughs> I always do low sodium. I uh, got some feminine wash and some spray deodorant. Uh, celery, this is gonna be for the viral sub salad, pasta salad, y'all will see this in a minute, but turkey pepperoni, turkey breast. This is a massive freaking onion. Like this onion is massive, <laughs> so. Big ol' onion, Ava's been loving kiwi, so she got that big ol' thing, and she will. She will eat this whole thing. This fruit will probably all be gone by the end of this week. Um, maybe not, well, no. Ava seriously eats fruit like crazy. Um, got some lean ground beef, a big roasting. I really hope that this fits in my crock pot, because I'm making chicken noodle soup in my crock pot. But um, it's a roasting chicken, so yeah. Um, got this big old thing of cherry tomatoes because if I like this pasta salad, I'm probably gonna have it every day this week for lunch. Got some canned, cause this was another thing. I showed you guys the loaded chicken salad that I make. It has mayonnaise, sour cream, cheese, bacon. It's so freaking good along with this, mixed in with this uh, can of chicken. And I was thinking of doing that and instead of having it like on bread or crackers or something like that, I was thinking about doing it with pasta. So I'm gonna try that too. So I got four cans of chicken. Uh, we got some corn. These are for the chili. So three cans of chili beans. Diced tomato we're doing homemade tomato soup one, day, one night this week. Uh, this is also for the chili, so that's going to stay out. But green chilies, we're going to cut up a pineapple. Hopefully it's good. we got four packages of taco seasoning, egg noodles for our chicken noodle soup, saltines for our soups and chilies. I'm going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. And it's got, like, the macros are really good. Like, the fiber is, wow. And then, of course, it's higher in protein than regular. It's only two grams of protein higher than other pasta but I liked it because of the the amount of fiber it has in it so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try I'll let y'all know this is what I'm gonna be having for lunch today and then over here we got ramen for the kids mouthwash for us this is the cereal they picked for the week so Fruit Loops um I love this fat free ready whip only five calories and five grams and that's a lot like Five grams is a good bit, and it's only five calories. Milk, butter, half and half for our tomato soup. Goldfish for the kids' um, lunches. We usually get from Target the sub rolls, and they're so much better. They're so good, but they had none. So I went ahead and I just got this. That pizza smells amazing. Um, but I went ahead and I got this for our sub rolls, or our meatball subs that we're going to make throughout the week. So... Hopefully, we'll go through that whole entire thing. Got some fat-free Greek yogurt, some chili-ready diced tomatoes, tomato sauce. Got some ranch, because I make my own ranch dressing, and then it's also gonna go into, oh, that pizza looks so good. It's also gonna go into um, our chili. So, yeah, delish. Use, use this like crazy. Parmesan cheese, we also use this like crazy. I needed some more olive oil. And I think that's everything. So we're gonna go ahead and put this up and 
look at the pizza. That's what they're having for lunch. Okay, so for the dressing, I have 15 grams of Duke's light mayonnaise, one teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of banana pepper juice, one teaspoon of red wine vinegar, and then just like measure with your heart with oregano. I like because it tastes like a sub and it gives you that like submarine taste. I really like it. So I put a lot in there and then salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything up and then show you how I'm putting it in when the pasta is done and everything. Okay, so this is gonna be everything. We've got some Velveeta shreds, some cucumber. I've got some turkey pepperoni, two slices of salami, two slices of turkey breast. And then we've got some cherry tomatoes and then there is our lettuce and then here's our pasta. No, there's our, oh my gosh. <laughs> dressing, here's our pasta. I'm gonna pour the dress. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pour the, I'm, try, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like calm down. Everything's fine, everything's gonna be go. Okay, whew, okay. I am going to pour the pasta into the dressing. And I'm not gonna mix anything yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my, I don't even know, I might need a bigger bowl, y'all. Go ahead and take my turkey and my turkey pepperoni and my salami. This is going to be delicious. I'm just, I'm concerned that I might not have enough dressing. So if I don't, I'm just gonna take some Olive Garden dressing. But there go the cherry tomatoes. I got about seven of them in there. Some more turkey pepperoni. What are y'all laughing at? That's what I'm wondering. Some cucumber. So I just added some shreds. I'm just gonna put my top on and just go to mixing. Like this. Oh, I can't put anything in there. So put the top on. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do though. Well, that makes up for the sips, that's what that does. Yeah. So I'm just gonna mix it like this. And hopefully that is enough. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Look at this. And it's so fresh. Oh yes, all right. I'm so like mouth watering. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that is freaking amazing. That pasta, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, that's good. That pasta actually isn't bad. That dang washer. Aww. Contrell's cuddling with Bella right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat my lunch and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all because I need to go ahead and get dinner started too. So we'll do that together. It's taco chili that we're making tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, so y'all are in my cabinet right now. I am going to make this taco chili. And I totally forgot to, because we already sauteed the lean ground beef. So it's just one pound of lean ground beef and you just saute it. You're supposed to also cut up an onion and saute an onion with the ground beef. But since I didn't do that, I'm gonna grab some minced onion and just put that down into the crock pot. Y'all can't see what I'm doing, which, but I, I really like that angle. I don't know, whatever. It's just going into the crock pot. And I'm just kind of measuring with my heart here. I'm like doing like, ooh. <laughs> I'm doing like 30 things at once. Like I just finished eating and then I'm over there like helping Ava with the fruit and veggies and she's got a lot to do today. Okay, so into this, we are going to do three cans of chili beans and you want the entire can to go down in there, okay? You want all of the juices, all of the everything, so. This one down into the mix, and I'll show y'all in a minute what this looks like. I got a mixed chili bean, one of those, and then the other two cans are just regular chili beans, and it's red beans and chili sauce. So that was number one. Okay, there's number two. Number three. Okay, next we are going to add in 
a can of diced tomatoes, a can of tomato sauce, an entire can of corn juice and everything, a can of diced green chilies. Next is a third of a cup or a full packet of taco seasoning, and then two tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix. One, two. Then we've got one and a half cups of water. There's a lot of chili. You just mix that, or you don't, it doesn't matter. It's whatever. And then you just let this cook on high for four to six, on low for six to eight, however you wanna do it, however long. It's basically, you know, you just wanna like get all those flavors together. And obviously, you know, the longer soups and chilies cook, the better they taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on this baby. I already have it set to high because it's already 235. I'm getting this a way, late start, uh, a way later start on this than I wanted to. So it is on high, put it right there. And now we're gonna get back, well, obviously I gotta clean up that mess right there. And then we kind of have been already doing this. So Ava did that, she's cutting up the mango. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, put the, put the baby carrots all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna do it on camera, just because, like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry, um, and I don't wanna like keep like setting up, taking down, all that stuff. So, we'll go ahead and cut all this stuff up, and then I'll show y'all before I put it in the fridge. Okay, so we've got a mess, like look at this. <laughs> it's such a mess. But we've got our blueberries, strawberries, mango, tomatoes. I know you're not supposed to put tomatoes in the fridge, but we're doing it. Uh, cucumber. This is for chicken noodle soup that I'm gonna go ahead and make tomorrow. So we've got celery, onion, carrot. That way I don't have to cut anything up. So that'll be perfect. Then we got blackberries, grapes, carrots, and bell peppers. Oh, and then pineapple over there. So whew, that took a lot of work, but it's all done for the week. And I'm so happy that it's all clean, ready to go. So we can just grab and go with all of our fresh fruits and veggies. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So um, I have a Skinny Mixes unboxing. I've already unboxed because I was like breaking down all my boxes. I got this little spinny thing from Shein. I think this is what I'm gonna do with it. Cause uh, literally getting out of hand. Hold on, let me see so y'all can see. Maybe you, you can still see my face. So like, look at this. This is Ava's medicine right here. And that's so cool. So let me just go through everything that I got. I got one mermaid, two mermaid, three mermaid. Y'all, do you see this? It's almost gone. I don't remember when I got this. I think I got it like two weeks ago, but y'all already know. I told you like, I just haven't been feeling the best so I haven't been wanting to film so um that's how fast I go I will say though I have literally been using this non-freaking stop so good I also got it in the flavor burst so I could take it on the go with me and this has about 24 servings so I'm really excited I wish that they made more flavors like this on the go um but i'm really 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 excited to take this on the go with me um so yeah i got four mermaids <laughs> can you tell it's my favorite um i got two cotton candies so one two which i still have one in there um a new flavor peach as you can see i have not opened it yet so i have not tried it so I'm excited to try that. I was thinking of peach being good with some fruity teas. I think that would be really good. So I'm excited to kind of play around with that one. And then we got a cherry, which as you can see, I have not opened it yet. So what am, what am I gonna do with cherry? Um, let's see. Oh, by the way, you can add these to your smoothies, your overnight oats, your oatmeal, yogurt you can add this not just to your water like that's what i've been doing you can add them to coffee like i i obviously get the fruity ones because i add them to my water but you could do more like they have vanilla caramel um uh, i'm trying to think of like other ones like 
white chocolate mocha. They have all different flavors. So anyways, cherry, two unicorn, because you know I love unicorn too. And then I got this strawberry, which as you guys can see, I have used a good bit of, but I don't know that I love this. I think I would just prefer the strawberry packets. So I don't know, but I mean, it's still really good though. Mm, it smells amazing. So that is my Skinny Mixes unboxing slash haul. MGE 10 saves you 10% if you guys are interested. You can find Jordan Skinny Mixes at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, Tuesday morning, places like that. I don't know, every time I go lately that I've gone to go look, the shelves have been completely empty. There has been no skinny syrup. So I've been having to order them off of the website, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use this little tray. Like I can put all the flavors that like, like not double flavors and then put these up. I don't know, we might do that. That's kind of cute. I really like that. So for now, I'm gonna go put this over here where, whoa. Girl, this thing is heavy. Okay, so Built Bar sent me, I don't know if any of these numbers mean anything, so I'm just gonna hide them, cover them up. But they sent me a little sampler pack yesterday. And I'm so freaking excited. So they sent me a Built Bar peanut butter. I don't know, I don't think that this is a puff. I think that this is like a regular Built Bar. So I haven't tried this one. I have tried the peanut butter puff girl their puff flavors are just so freaking good which speaking of puffs they sent me birthday cake so we are going to try it on camera i'm going to try it on camera together i'm about to go work out go to the gym uh, so i need to go put but I, i'm starving i'm so freaking hungry this is what it looks like i have not ever tried one of their white chocolate flavors so i'm very excited to try it it has like those little these are my favorite sprinkles like they're like the little circular sprinkles but they're like actual sprinkles so cheers let's try it on camera these are going to be released by the time you guys see this these have been a game freaking changer in my weight loss journey because number one on the go you literally bring this and you pop it in your mouth when you're driving when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing for me in the middle of filming if i need something real quick i can grab it it's in, like y'all my pantry is loaded y'all y'all seen it so um they're just so convenient but on top of that they're delicious they're literally so freaking good this has 17 is it 17 or 16 this has 140 calories no this one has 150 calories where is the protein? And then this one has 16 grams of protein. Usually the puffs have 17, but your girl's hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm kind of nervous to try the white chocolate. I don't know, but. Oh. Oh my. Oh my God, I have found my new favorite Built Bar flavor. I need to buy three packs of this, like I'm not even kidding. Oh my God. Mm. That's the consistency of it. I don't even like white chocolate like that, but holy crap, this is good. And then you get like the little crunchies of the sprinkles. This texture is amazing. The inside is kind of like marshmallowy. Sorry, excuse me in the background. She's getting water. Oh, and she's also getting fruit. But um, it's like kind of like marshmallowy. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. This is my new favorite. It's my new favorite flavor. Wow. We're gonna try the um, peanut butter one tomorrow, but MGE 10 will save you 10%. I'll also link these down below. 
They also are having a red velvet puff come out. I don't know if it's by the time this video is up. So I'm going to wait so I don't have to pay shipping twice. I hope that this does not sell out before the red velvet because I got to get those too. But this is amazing. So freaking amazing. And I love these because it's great. It's a great in between your meal snack. Oh, seriously. So freaking good. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get a little bit of fruit. And then I'm going to head on over to the gym. And tonight, tonight, y'all, we are doing these nails. I got this from Walmart yesterday. And I'm going to show you a little hack. Hopefully, it works. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I also have a bunch of really cute nails to show you in a new place that I have found nails. Literally a dollar. Like, are you kidding me? Ooh, let me see that. This girl got, oh, I want this. Look at this fruit bowl. She got blackberries, blueberries. I'm about to make me a fruit bowl. That's what I'm about to do after I eat this. Oh, y'all, I'm being so productive today. I have edited like four videos and then a TikTok for a brand. And then I have applied for... Uh, responded to like a bunch of emails like I have been so productive today I don't feel like putting on nails yet because I'm girl I'm in work mode I'm what a video is exporting and as soon as that exports I'm gonna upload it get it to the brand and then I'm gonna do another like edit another video because I gotta get that video to the brand I've got so many like so blessed with with brand sponsorships this month but um these nails are from Shein and y'all they're a freaking dollar. They're like a dollar. I think the max that I've spent on one of these is like $2.60. Insane. Y'all know I love my press on nails. And here's the thing. I love the impressed press on nails, okay? But they are not all the way big enough. And I feel like they're also a lot thicker. So they can kind of look a lot like, yeah, those are press on nails. Whereas these, at least the ones that I had on last week, they looked so natural and they were from Shein. So these don't have the tabs on them. They're just nails. They're also like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, like the packaging is cheap as hell. Impress has them 100%, but also the Impress nails are also $10 where these are like a dollar. You know what I mean? So you kind of are getting what you pay for here, but it does come with the little tabs. If you want to add that to the nails, it also comes with a little file. It doesn't come with any glue and it also doesn't come with the little pads, like the little alcohol pads, which I'm kind of like bummed out about because I really like that. But these are your nails. The packaging is also super freaking cheap. Like these boxes, super cheap. But I don't care. I don't care about that because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the freaking nails. Look at how cute these are. Like I said, a freaking dollar. Like these are so perfect for spring. I was just thinking Mother's Day. I don't think I'm doing anything for Mother's Day. I would love to go see my mom, but with how I've been feeling and how Bella's do, there's no way I'm taking Bella on a three hour car ride. Um, forget how I'm feeling, Bella. That's another thing, too, that's obviously um, been bothering me is Bella. And I'm not really talking about it because I get emotional every time I look at her, spend time with her, talk about her. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, these are really cute. I was going to say they're, they would be really good for Mother's Day, but I'm not even doing anything for Mother's Day. So, it's whatever. But just so cute. These nails look literally so natural like you literally just came from the nail salon or you did the designs yourself like i'm telling you the only thing i don't love about this one which is the french as you can see is the fact that i don't love the color it's not pink and against my skin tone it just it doesn't look great but i freaking love how square these are and i love how the French tip is oh these are good and then these looked way better on the websites 
but again for like a dollar I mean I got all of these nails and I got a milk frother for like 20 bucks if I got all of these nails from Impress, I would have spent like over $100. I mean, that is like guaranteed. So these ones are super cute. And I just got them because I saw them. I'm, you know, I, I kind of do like darker colors in the fall, winter. So I definitely won't do these in the summer, spring. But I thought these were so pretty. They're such a gorgeous color. And then I don't know if you can see, is that gold or is it silver? It's silver, silver glitter lined all around the nail. How freaking cute. And then y'all can see, I got a lot of French tip. Um, I just think that they're so classic, so natural. These, you didn't, you couldn't tell on the website, but these, that's another thing too, that I'm kind of like, mm. these definitely look better on the website, but I also will say this, they show it on the hands, and I haven't seen these on the hands yet, so I can't really speak. I'm just saying, like, looking at them, like, mm. These are also, like, I like them a little more natural, and this pink is not very natural. But again, we'll see how it looks. I got three. No, did I get three of these? Yeah, I think I got three of these, which are, like, a different kind of white tip, French tip, and then two of these. Okay, okay, these are shorter, but these have the French tip, but then they also have the gold glitter on the on the side too, so I got two of those. These are a little bit shorter, and then, y'all, I also have another nail haul coming, and it, I'm hoping it gets here before Saturday, but um, regardless, I will do a haul. This is kind of something I was liking or looking for, I guess, for... Um, the holidays or something i don't know like new year's or something because you know your girl is going to be going on that cruise again for uh new year's eve 100 percent. so um this would be perfect so um, yeah i'm already shopping for nails and i saw these and i was like these are really cute so these are black and then they have this silver tip they're actually all different so let me show you like that it's not going too much so those again i just bought for fall winter these right here these were like five dollars a piece look at how many you you get these little things too the little tabs i took them out of the packaging and they're just there anyways look at how many freaking nails you get I feel like I would wear every single one of these colors, and if not, I probably won't wear the, the purple. But other than that, like, you cannot beat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 colors for, like, 5 bucks or 4 bucks. I can't remember how much this was. Max $6. Um, you also, this one also is a French tip, but I'm still on the out, on the lookout for my perfect pastel light pink. This is... I feel, or this one, this one is the most similar that I've gotten so far. Um, but here's another one. Tons of nails. And again, I would probably wear each and every single one of these, except for these purple ones. But I'm sure Ava would probably wear those. Um, so yeah, I had to show y'all my nail haul. Um, oh, I got more French chips. <laughs> Two of the same. I don't know how these ones are different than the other ones, but I think it's how the they are shaped. And I really, really, really like this shape. So now I will say these just do not stay on. Like I have double glued and that I had the most success with, but that is why I need to try this hack because without these little additional things, they don't stay on nearly as long as the Impress ones do, which I can sometimes get two weeks out of. But these ones, like day three, day four, sometimes day two, or like one or two is popping off. Um, but I don't think, I don't think, I know, they 100% don't look as natural when you have these tabs as you just do with the nail and glue. So like I said, that's why we're going to do the nail hack. 
Um, we'll probably do that tomorrow because your girl is on an editing roll. And when I get on an editing roll, if I have a lot to edit, girl, d leave me alone. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Yep. I gotta get back to work. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So, um, I'm supposed to be having a date, like a virtual date, like in a minute. And, um, dude hadn't said anything. Actually, it's supposed to be right now. He hadn't said anything about where we're supposed to have this date. Um, I met him on eHarmony and I was like looking after he mentioned it. I was looking today and I was like, there's like no chat feature on here. So I don't know. He hasn't said anything about, oh, he just sent me a message. I didn't even have time to do my freaking nails. Who am I? Um, okay. So wish me luck. I have a very generic, like, outfit that I'm comfortable in. It's virtual, so he's not going to see me. But I have my everyday jeans on that y'all see me in all the time. <sighs> okay. Mm. This is my makeup. Again, everyday makeup. So... Yeah, wish me luck, y'all, because, um, we let do the dang thing. It doesn't show you online. I can't initiate. Do I need to get on my computer? Okay, cool. So it is through eHarmony. How is it not visible? My profile should be visible. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If your visitor list is activated, you will see members who have shown interest in your... Man, I've been using eHarmony this whole couple of weeks all wrong. Because apparently I've been damn hidden. How did this dude find me? That work? Um, I mean, I don't see a chat option. But I should because I paid for this-ish. You know what I mean? This is eHarmony. Like, yeah, I paid for this. Um... Girl, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Like, if I paid for this thing, I should totally have the, um, the option to do the, the, the thing. <clears throat> Technical support. My lashes are sticking together. Well, I guess I will let y'all know if we end up doing this date or not. <clears throat> um, okay, yeah. I'm going to have to contact them and be like, what the hell? Because, like I said, I paid last year. I paid for like a six-month membership, not knowing <laughs> that I couldn't cancel and then like two days on it, or I don't know, maybe it was like a week. I was like, cancel, 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 no. And then they were like, you, you can't. And I was like, the fuck? <laughs> so, um, yeah, they told me I could put it on hold. And then I took it off of hold like a couple weeks ago. And I don't know, they must not have done the right thing. I don't know, like, it seems like you just cannot get in ho a hold of eHarmony. Like, there's, like, phone numbers. I don't understand how... How, like, such a huge company... Doesn't have a phone number. Ask him, do you want to try Zoom? Because I'm not giving him my phone number. He already asked if we could do the phone number thing. And I'm like, mm, I don't really, like, I don't give my phone number to strangers anymore. Like, this man is literally a stranger. I don't do that. So, um, I guess we're going to try Zoom. <laughs> Y'all, I'm like getting so freaking nervous. Ugh. Um... I think I have to do it on my phone. 
which 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 would I look better <laughs> on the computer or on my phone? I have my lighting on. Join. Are, are we doing? We're doing like face to face, right? What if we're not? Okay, I look pretty. <laughs> I had to put this on a tripod though because girl I put it right there ha <laughs> ha I need to make sure it wouldn't fall um what if there is someone in here <laughs> uh no no oh uh, but see oh y'all I'm so tired Shoot. Do I have enough water? How do you start? New meeting. I'm like, are we doing a video chat? I am kind of nervous now. Okay, I'll, I'll tell y'all how it goes. Um, so yeah, y'all, it is... 10:54. I just now what what time did we get on the phone? Like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like 4 4 hour date. That was that was nice. Um he definitely has checked off a lot of boxes. Um he's very funny. Um yeah, and we'll see where it goes. I'll keep y'all updated. Um, I don't, I don't know. Like I'm, oh, when it comes to dating, like I'm trying to be like I don't want to rush into anything, and I'm also trying to just enjoy and and not think about future where this could go. Do I like them? Do I not? Like try not to have like many expectations, you know. So. We'll see. Anyways, I had to show y'all this. Heels sent me something, which was so nice. This is, um, I don't think it's a Mother's Day collection. This is just what they sent me. But um, you can save 25% off of their website, which is keels.com, and I will link it down below. Um, but you can use the code MDAY25 at checkout at their webs on their website and um it's good until may 31st so let me show you what i got uh this is so freaking cool so this i already have because they already sent this to me and it is freaking amazing i use it every day and now i have two and this is their um powerful powerful strength vitamin c serum and it is a potent vitamin C serum formulated with 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid that visibly diminishes five li fine lines in just two weeks. Has it diminished? Well, those, I don't think those are fine anymore. Let's just be honest about that. Then they sent me, um, I'm going to be honest. I am the worst when it comes to applying sunscreen. I really am. Especially, like, I do not apply a daily sunscreen. So I am going to get in the habit of doing it more often. This is the Super Fluid Daily UV Defense. It is a SPF of 50 plus, and it's also an anti-pollution. -pollu Advanced UVA, UVB technology helps prevent early skin aging caused by the sun. And this is lightweight formula for all skin types. So they sent me that. I'm also very intrigued by this right here. This is a retinol skin renewing daily microdose serum. Clinically tested to steadily promote skin surface turnover and visibly improve firmness, reduce wrinkles, and refine texture. Da, da, da. While minimizing discomfort effects including redness, dryness, and peeling. Cool. So that, and then we have this serum right here, which is Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. 
So that is what Kiehl's sent me and I'm very excited and very grateful. So thank you Kiehl's. We will definitely test these out probably next vlog, um, which y'all know I've already, I've been testing this out. I freaking love this. I love the way it feels on my skin and I will see y'all tomorrow. I still can't believe tomorrow is Friday. This week has flown by. Happy Friday, you guys. We're gonna work on my nails. Hopefully y'all can see me okay. Um, basically, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with like the whole entire process or whatever, but I did wanna talk about how to make these dollar, dollar fifty, two dollar, whatever. All of the nails on Shein, they're different prices. But I don't think that any of them are more than like $250. But anyways, these ones right here, none of them have the sticky on the back like the Impress Nails do. They do come with these, but like I was telling you guys earlier, I think that this makes them look less natural. So uh, I'm like going back because I was like dead set on, I am doing the floral ones. But now I'm kind of like, I feel like I want to do, hold on. I kind of want to do this one. That's cute. Okay, we're going to go with these ones. We're going to go with these ones. I will link all of these down below that I can find. Um, but here's the hack, and here is what I'm going to do. Now, first of all, these Shein nails are a lot different than the Impress nails because the Impress nails have the little sticky tab, and on the sticky tab, they have the number of the nail, and that is so much easier. Right here on these Shein nails, girl, you gotta look. So, okay, right here, I think that says number, okay, it says number four. Okay, number four, so that's what it's gonna look like. And they are on, the number is on the tip. It's very faint for my old eyes anyways. And, for the ones that don't have the tip, because obviously you know this is going to be the cuticle where you push at the cuticle and this is going to be your tip, but not all of them are like that. But what I'm noticing with Shein nails is that where the number is, that is where the tip is, okay? Because some, sometimes it can get like a little like, wait a minute, which side is which? So I'm going to go ahead and lay all of my nails out. I'm going to size them and everything, and then we'll get to the little hat part of this little tutorial. Okay, so this is the kit that I bought. I just picked this up from Target and I think it was like 10 bucks. I don't want anything else in here, honestly, other than this clear acrylic powder. You can probably find this on Amazon. You can probably find it like a by itself, but I mean, you still get a good bit and I wanted it like the instant gratification, which even though I didn't do it right away when I was picked this up, but anyways, you need that. Okay. So you need that. And then you also need some glue. Now this is my favorite, favorite glue. And you can find this on Walmart. Like I said, I'll link all of these things down below, but you can also use this nail glue too, which is also really good. And sometimes, especially with these glues, or these nails that don't have that extra tab, I want some extra assurance. So sometimes I will do both of them. I know that may sound a little extra, but girl, we're still saving a ton of money here um, and a lot of time too. So anyways, it's Glamnetic. I got this off of Amazon and this one is a brush tip, okay? So what I will do, usually like I'll go ahead and clean up my nails and cuticles. I'm not gonna do that today. I probably should. I also usually buff them and all that, but I wanna see if I do nothing, how long it's gonna stay, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush my actual nail with this Glamnetic. And then what I'm gonna do is then try to brush the nail. And then from there, we're gonna dip it into the acrylic powder. And then you just tap it off, brush it off, or dump it off, whatever. Let's see, we're gonna hold it down for like 30 or so seconds. Literally, like, I kid you not, these look so freaking natural. Like, I literally just got this tip put on at the salon. They look 
so good. I love them so much. You see literally no nail whatsoever. And that will be on every single one of my nails. Um, because with the Impress, they don't have, they're, they're not curved enough. And then they also have that glue, which makes them thicker. Like that tab makes them thicker. Without the glue tab, it makes the nail really like a lot thinner. And these are just really nicely curved. And they just literally like fit your nail bed to perfection. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process. So yeah, I'm gonna repeat the process that I just did. I'm gonna paint the nail first with glue. Then I'm gonna dip it in the acrylic. Then I'm gonna put nail glue on my actual nail. And then I'm gonna press down for about a minute. So I will show you what they look like when they are done. Y'all, when I tell you Look at how natural these, look how good they look. Like, are you kidding me? I did not have to do any shaping, any filing, nothing. Like this, this is just how they came. They look so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. I don't know if you can see, these ones have like a little bit of glitter on them. So good, but do you see, do you see this thumb? You might see like, do you see like a little bit of my thumb? Like the teeniest, tiniest bit, but only if you're like super close can you tell. But look at that, it just goes all the way around. So good, Impress could never. They could never, and trust me, I love my Impress nails, but they never look this, look at that. They never look this natural because they're a lot thicker with that added glue. Now, I will say this middle finger, the finger that fits is, for whatever reason, a little bit longer. See if you look. It's longer than the rest, but girl, I don't even care. Look at how pretty. Pretty these are. They literally look like I just came home from the salon. Like add a little bit of cuticle glue, not cuticle glue, cuticle oil, and bam, like literally. I'm, I'm literally obsessed. I hope that this little hack makes them last for a couple of weeks because girl, if it does, your girl's gonna be real happy. Um, so yeah, that's how they turned out. Anyways, um, I, I am gonna, I'm gonna edit this video because it's gotta go up for Sunday. I have not touched any of this editing for this video. So we're gonna be editing for, for a minute today. Um, but we are going down to the office. They're having like this little Mother's Day thing, which is gonna be super cute. I'm not gonna film that obviously because I need to go ahead and get this up. And I'm not really gonna, I might film it for next week. We'll see. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I will keep you guys updated on my date last night. We've talked a little bit this morning. Did he send me a message I didn't respond to? Um, we've been uh, messaging like back and forth. No, there has not been a, um, there has not been a question for a second date, but we're still talking, so. We'll see. Um, I think that we're both wanting to move very slow. And I don't know what that looks like. But we're going we're gonna to work it out. We're going to talk it over with our therapist on Tuesday. And just going to kind of see. Because I can already see like me being like, why hasn't he asked me out yet? Are we just going to keep doing this virtual thing? Is he ever going to ask? Like, I'm the brain. Just stop, Jill. Just, just, just live in the moment and let it go. Let it be. And if I end up start talking to someone else, then I can because we're not exclusive. And um, I just I have a really hard time because then I start to like get people mixed up in things. I don't know how people can date several people at the same time. Like I just, I don't know. But I also know that I'm not, I'm doing things way, way, way different this time. And it feels very foreign. It feels very a little uncomfortable even because I'm just so used to with every guy I've ever dated. It's just happened fast. 
the whole let's get together, let's get in the bed, let's make out, let's affection. And I'm trying to, no, I'm not trying. I am holding off on that because once you start getting swooped up in those emotions, that's when it's really hard to red flags go away, you know, or to even see the red flags as they're coming at you because you're just, oh my gosh, he's so good. He's so handsome. He's so this, he's so that, you know? So, um, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated, but, um, I'm also going to try to keep my mind from being like, <laughs> you know, and just kind of live in the moment, live in the moment. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Everything that I talked about is going to be linked down below in the description box. And I will see you guys on Tuesday, probably, with either something new that I'm trying out that I'm really excited for, or it's going to be a try-on. It's going to be one of the others. But I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.